Hi, my name is Eric Falberg, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a video wall. But not the type of video wall that involves complex and expensive matrix switchers, but a video wall that involves standard copper Ethernet cabling and a standard Netgear 10 gigabit switch. So the technology we're going to be using today is what's called SDVOE, Software Defined Video Over Ethernet. What this technology allows us to do is to push uncompressed 4K high def video using standard copper ethernet or fiber ethernet cabling through a Netgear 10 gigabit switch. First, you're gonna need video sources. And in this case, I'm using a simple MyBox device. It's an Android appliance that allows me to push video to my encoders. Next, you're gonna need your encoders, and then you're gonna need your decoders, and then finally, your video displays. So how does everything interconnect? Well, first we're gonna take HDMI and connect our video source to the encoder. And then we're gonna use our standard copper ethernet cabling to go from the encoder to the switch. And then copper ethernet cabling from the switch to the decoder. And then finally, HDMI going from the decoder to the displays. Okay, you're also gonna need a router to provide DHCP IP addresses for all these devices. So take your router, connect it to the switch. And then the other piece is the ZV management platform. You wanna connect it to the router. And then finally, connect your laptop to the router. Okay, so in order to configure the video wall, you need to configure the ZV Maestro management platform. And you need to know the IP address. In this case, the IP address is 192.168.1.4. The username and password. And what you're gonna see is the video source, which we have one of, and then we have the four displays. Now, the next thing you have to do is you have to create your video wall. So click the plus button, give it a name, and how many rows? So we're gonna have two rows and two columns. Which screen is the bottom left? Then we'll do top left, bottom right, and top right. And then we're gonna click create. And now we have our video wall. And then finally, all you need to do is drag the video source over to the video wall, and it should show up like that. Well, there's our video wall, that's it. Now remember, all we used was standard copper ethernet cabling, or you could use fiber ethernet cabling and a Netgear 10 gigabit switch. Now remember, we offer a lot of switches, but only the Netgear M4300 series are switches that work out of the box with no configuration needed, and you can have a video wall yourself.